in the world, but uh, I'd say do something. Just uh, uh, go out, develop underwater rugby, uh, put kids in the world. Well, not put kids in the world, but put <laughs> kids in the pool. <laughs> well, you can put well, kids in I the world. I left you alone too long and now your brain is cooked. <laughs> I'm back. I had to prepare yeah. the tea. But don't you so agree, Lorena, here. it's it's um okay, it's cold yes, in here. I completely agree with you. Um I think the important thing is we um um if we criticize the world we have to look before on our own doorstep. Yep. And if our own doorstep is dirty, get a broom broom and uh it first clean it first before you go state. yeah go outside in the world and criticize what other people are doing or uh, the system start with yourself put energy and development on the water rugby and uh, when you did well you got a base to tell people and probably what to do better right? what to do better yes you learn cannot tell others what to do better you have no exactly um, complain not not complaining but not criticize but do it by example uh, do it better and uh, I think that's the way everything else is just, uh, I don't know, frustration or uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. But that's my personal opinion and, uh, and Lorena Nasset shares that. And yeah. And, and yeah. <laughs> Nasset plays against Firenze and I'm kind of curious about this game. So what was the end result of... Um, Orcas against Australia, 9-0, right? Yes. 9-0, and then now we have, let's see, Firenze had played against Langer and lost 7-0. And Nasu played against uh, the USA and they won 11-0. What does that tell us? That it could be There's a difference. Game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I, look, I like to look at these statistics sometimes, sometimes just... Uh, yeah, just to get a feeling for, for feeling numbers, yes. The, exactly. Yes. So my guess would be. Um, um Chicos, perdón, Colombia, eh, que tuvo problemas técnicos. Al final terminó el partido 9 a 0 para Orcas y bueno, pero Australia realmente se defendió muy bien y la verdad que hicieron un muy buen partido. O sea, los chicos ganaron contra Austria hoy más temprano y ahora fueron contra Orcas. Ellos sabían que de su grupo en la única posibilidad de ganar un partido era contra Viena porque el siguiente partido va a ser contra Finlandia y también bueno los chicos de Finlandia duro. Uh, what I was commenting was that um, Australia was really happy and motivated because they won the the match that they had planned to win uh, in their group and they're in the group B and they are together with Viena, um, Finlandia, Mendrusik and Orcas. And they knew that the only chance to win would be against, uh, sorry, against Austria. And that was their um, aim and they, they succeeded. So they were really, really happy. Now they have another uh, game against uh, Rio Sik tomorrow. And then they will see further from that. But so far, Australia has achieved to win that match. Now, uh, Nasu against Firenze, I think I will dare to say that Nasut is going to win. But um, yes, me too. I again, bet on Nasut. It's so much depending on the team, the day, the people. You cannot assume that because um, this team won against um, the USA by 11 and this other lost against the German for 7, that maybe there has been a change, that maybe they they didn't manage, like for instance, when we were in Cali and we played first with, uh, against Nor Nor uh, Norway and we lost, I uh, was playing with the national team in the World Cup in Cali and we lost 2-0 against Norway and and the final we won 3-0 so no one thought that we were going yes. to, yes. so things like this happen, I mean this yeah. is, uh, we had a, a horrible start. game, yeah. Yeah. Horrible so start, that can yeah. happen, so let's see, anything is open, let's see. So. The uh, game started, we're in the middle of the pool, um, no decisive ball position in the uh, start of the game. Um, that's an impressive uh, referee outfit, a lot of color there. <laughs> um, well, it's better because how many times players confuse yes, you've the got cold hands. referees? Go I, uh, yeah, I did a tea. So, Nasud, uh, 
is already Listen. underneath the Firenze and goalie. And here we go, a first heavy attack and on the first goal. So, and that was 40, uh, 35, 35 seconds. Impressive. Um, 35 seconds, this is, I, I write it down, I don't think the girl did it faster. So, for the men, that was um, a bumper, 25 seconds, and 35 seconds, interesting. I like statistics, and I'm not German, but I learned from them. <laughs> We <laughs> live too long in Germany now. So back in the game. Oh, we got uh, hot tea. That's quite good. It's quite cold. Um, now Firenze has this wake-up call, and um, they try to break through, but uh, heavily stopped in the half uh, of Nasut. Um, and uh, here we go. Uh, the Finns. Uh, Recover the ball and start in the one one attack uh, on the goalie, goal. Goalie, but the goalie recovered the ball and is trying to swim away, but it's just been... Ah, this is a classical situation where the goalie doesn't have a, a, a station to play the ball to and uh, feels no, left alone and throws the ball they away. They really recovered from that situation. That was really, really bad. And it is a wonder that it, it, they did not uh, score. I mean, the Nassau didn't score a goal. They should have. It's it's um, it's very. Um, <laughs> Vinay is on the water now, <laughs> trying to. Yeah. Put the cameras into position. So very well done uh, um, from Fidenze after this uh, initial uh, One zero, shock. Yep. Uh, and now they, they, they fight back and sometimes, yeah, yes, that's what you need. <laughs> yeah. So Fidenza is now uh, uh, attacking um, the Nasu basket, but uh, they're on the surface, going uh, to the corner, close side of the basket from Nasu. And uh, are attacked and tackled by Nasu players. We have a little cluster that is... Uh, well, a contra attack with four swimmers coming through four against two so but the, the defense is uh, of uh, Firenze is standing and uh, the four Nasu players don't succeed what are they in doing? I mean I mean that was quite of a fiasco I mean you yes, have four that people you attack. cannot go all four yeah. in one corner yeah. <laughs> but this all, look this all is constructive critic we are not being mean to the absolutely team, so uh, well ev every uh, Every player of them is, is these are high class players. Yeah, uh, we're just commenting on what we think and that, but it's yeah. all with love and. Uh, Hopefully, everybody sees it like that. It's. Uh, um, I couldn't compete with them. I don't think so. It's. Uh, I could. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I did actually. <laughs> yeah, <okay>. you did. <laughs> I know. Um, so yeah, we're so that still that th they are still attacking. Uh, Nasud is still attacking Firenze. Firenze is doing a good job keeping them away from the basket so they don't succeed. Wow, and this is a great pass. And they're trying to attack on the close corner, but Firenze has. A well, now okay, now it's a defender against into position, and again, I mean, I'm seeing lack of um, action from the attackers and the Firenze side. I mean. Four taking is not really good. Defenders are in position, the goal is in position, but they are missing the attacker part of the defense. True, but nevertheless, Nasu doesn't succeed. Well, because they haven't been attacking. Now that this is attack. Yeah, but they were just, you know, getting into position, getting air, recovering, and now they are three against one, and she should have passed sooner. Mm. Now, I mean. We it do was, that. Was we just the second control attack, the, yeah. we control the, the ball, get air, and then when we decide that the we first, are okay, the first we attack. attacker goes yeah, went in on the goalkeeper, pushed away, um, didn't succeed, uh, went up, give, gave the ball back to another attacker who pushed again on the same goalkeeper, and finally uh, they scored. So yeah, um, well done from the suit. So it's two zero in the first half here in this game. Uh, Nasut from Finland against Firenze from Italy and uh, the first half is over of this first half so uh, a little bit more than four minutes to go now Firenze 
is trying to attack and is coming on with four players and Nasut is defending. Now I think they're physically uh, Nasut is stronger, I'd say, but... Uh, they have a better condition and they have a better understanding of the game and they have a better uh, together play as a team. Look, they yeah. they start the contact yeah. with three. Again, three attackers, uh, counter-attack uh, on, on the basket. And there is only one goalkeeper and defender. Um, but still, th that's, that's uh, impressive. Barcelona is, 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 is fighting with, it. They're with, the with their own fins. Yeah. Um, but impressive, they didn't succeed. It was three against two. And... Uh, they were lacking the 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 um, in these attacks three against two the system to work as a team as a pack. So nevertheless, another goal uh, was one on one uh, against the goalie, and um, it's three zero. It's 3-0. Uh, oh, my live, team, live stream froze here, so I have to reboot to watch the um, watch the chat. So another counter attack, one against two from uh, uh, counter attack from Nasut. Um, they, they 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 team play lacks a little bit the uh, the the feeling for each other, the the blind. Uh, play together, Bamberg, for example, uh, shows. They they go in quite good and they are in good condition. Their fitness is uh, quite high, but um, it takes them a little bit too long to succeed in, in uh, quite scorable circumstances. Now we have another attack on the open side, uh, but the player couldn't push away the goalkeeper, but kept hold of the ball. And the second one is going in on the open side, now on the head side uh, of the goalie, but it's tackled away by a defender. Another Nasu player waited at the open, empty basket, but um, they are at the surface now, and uh, there's a cluster, uh, at least one Firenze, yeah, one on one uh, Firenze player. And wow, there's one Nasu player is just pulling away the arm. Uh, of of the ball holder, um, hurtful uh, if you cannot move. So we have another tick from the open side. That was ah call from the referee pushing without ball, um, free throw against Nasut. Um, that was interesting because it, it definitely looked like um, there is open space for the attacker to push in the ball, but they didn't succeed. That happens a lot. Um, they should be uh, a higher score than 3-0 from what we've seen in the attacks of Nasud. We are now in the middle of the uh, pool, uh, slowly drifting upwards to the surface. We have this cluster here. Um, and uh, now the suit is uh, going out of the cluster with ball possession. Three players going in on the defender and goalkeeper. And um, again... Again, Firenze succeeds in uh, getting the ball. Uh, that was a little bit in the middle of the of the pool, a little bit too slow passing, and uh, Nasu player could intercept the ball play between these two Firenze players. They are now at the wall side on the surface, and there's a call from the referee. Um, free throw. I don't see it properly. Free throw against Nasud. Is it? No. Free throw against um, Firenze. Firenze. Sorry. Can you hear me? I'm just I was correcting a few things here in the internet. So, um. Okay, the end of the first time. And now. We have three minutes break and um, was three zero for Nasud. Uh, three zero, yes, I think or four. No, it should be four or five. 
sorry. I don't uh, know, I just forget to look and then on the half time. Yeah, yeah change. but we'll see it uh, in, the, in the next half. Um, with all the look in the, look in the yeah. camera. Vinny told us to look in the camera. Yes. <laughs> Always watch the camera. So, yeah, as you can see, we're getting a little bit crazy here, um, but it's only the first day. So we have uh, three more games, no, two and a half games more ahead of us. Um, Nassau against Firenze is the one we see right now. Then we have Newmark, uh, USA men against uh, Malmi Triton. Um, and then the men women. and Akaren uh, against uh, Vienna. Vienna from Austria uh, female players. So this is the end uh, then of the first day here, Champions Cup 2016 in Berlin. Um, if you just tuned in and uh, wonder what you're looking at, this is the Champions Cup, the biggest uh, underwater rugby tournament in the world really? right now. It is. We have sure. 14. You heard this before, but maybe these <laughs> people uh, tuned in not. 14 nations, 25, 24 teams, 14 men teams and 10 women teams. And the teams come from uh, three continents. I think that's uh, first two, as far as I know. Yep. And we're quite happy here, Lorena and me, uh, to do the comments for the live stream and uh, to share our knowledge. Look in the camera, always look in the camera. And uh, hi, here's Bob. We have some look, this referees. Is, yeah, referees visiting. are watching us and maybe judging and taking notes for the next game. It, it's uh, really cool. Referees are cool people. <laughs> you, yeah, very fair and cool people. You, you always have to respect them because they can bite back hard. <laughs> no, really, um, referees are always doing a good job. And uh, if you think it's uh, easy for a referee on the tournament because they just stay there in the water with the water bottles, nope. It's very exhausting. I know it from my own refereeing. Uh, having a whole day doing a referee, even out of the water, you have to be concentrated, uh, you have to make the right decisions. So uh, with all the complaining about referees, I have a lot of respect uh, for what they do. And uh, we need referees to keep up the rules because sometimes it's just too easy for us to for uh, players to forget. So we are back in the game here. Sí, no, Castores no vuelve a jugar hoy. Uh, as question. always. If Castores plays again and tonight, today they won't play again. So Nasut is uh, attacking on the Firenze and the attacker wasn't paying attention to the ball while attacking. That is a common mistake and the Firenze player could take the ball away. It was a great um, steal. <laughs> great steal. When you steal, stole. A great stolen. No, that's no, wrong. No, that's wrong. Uh, wrong. So, um, Firenze is in defense. We have now the mobile camera on the move. Gives a little bit of uh, uh, action uh, feeling with all the movement. And I'm getting a little bit seasick, I have to admit. And uh, um, the Firenze, uh, Nassau well, is just... Firenze better because now so far they haven't achieved another score and uh, so they are defending a little bit more well, easy playing I mean yeah but now so it will not will not uh, push that hard they are uh, it's they a have a good game, start yeah. yeah and they you don't need to get and more with, tired than you need to with winning uh, every game coming up now will be harder probably for Nasut um, here we go another score so they don't exhaust themselves. Four continents, Australia, North America. Well, actually North America and South America, the whole continent is America, as I was taught in geography, and this is just subcategory. Yes, that's true. So um, still only four continents, but three, uh, uh, three, three continents. But uh, Tarkan told me today, uh, maybe uh, uh, Izmir is another continent. So that will be the fourth. Um, okay, still um, same picture as before, heavy pressure on the Firenze basket. But, uh, oh, there was a yeah. hard grip in the face on the chin. 
uh, one of the Firenze players tried to break free and was hold it uh, was hold by two by two players and one put the hand around the the face and the mask and the chin so the free throw against uh, Nasut but that happens um, I would never um, say anybody does uh, things like that in purpose or even though I heard they are done on purpose but I could never believe that anybody would uh, um I really believe that some people do it you don't believe it I do believe it yeah but I, I, I can't believe ah, anybody can't. would yes I know but uh, uh. I always give them uh, the, the, the doubt uh, it's not done on purpose um, I can't believe uh, sportsmen would hurt each other uh, purposefully and uh, that's why we have referees to stop that even if it's uh, accidentally now we have another attack with a yeah, mobile we camera we have a lot of movement and you it's you also feel it's like uh, almost like you're in there yeah being with them. yeah yeah it's a l lot of action well the girl from Nasut are very consequent in attacking but uh, still I mean Firenze is doing a better job than in the first time this is 4-0 but uh, the problem is, you know, the the girls from Finland, they are so consequent with their foretake that the Italians almost cannot come, I mean, a couple of centimeters yes, have yes. to fight for every little piece. For inch, and they don't, inch, they, yeah. don't they, they, they cannot find players that would, you know, take the pass and then start the counter-attack. They're just too tired breathing. And so they lose the ball again. And this constant coming back after you recover the ball, exactly. Mm. Finally... <laughs> the result of that is uh, gold. Yeah, if you if you stay non-stop in this defending mode and you you don't have to, you you just couldn't go over this barrier to start your attacks and to 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 break free. It just it, it exha exhausts you mentally and physically. Yeah. Well, Firenze is coming now with an attack, but they're already in the middle of the pool, and Nasut is already taken over the ball and they are starting a counter-attack with two against two defender is on a position from the Firenze side but it's three girls of Nasud already fighting against mm, now that we have a cluster of two girls and Nasud continues in possession of the ball and keep passing around in a little bit of a good distance two three meters no, something happened that we couldn't see because the, the call from the referee holding holding without ball free holding. throw against Nasut. Well, there's uh, are a little bit more than four minutes left in the game, and uh, it's a 5-0 for Nasut, so it's it's almost done. Um, it's quite heavy for uh, Firenze to score in at this point. Um, they, they, like we just said, in the saw in the middle field, they, they, their ball play was intercepted by Nasut, and uh, there was a little mistake. And Nasut just uh, Nasut players just took a ball the way the ball. Um, so again, uh, Firenze in the defense. Um, but they're still holding up. Um, it, it doesn't look like they even snatch away the ball right now. So the the attackers are. Uh, that was a far away pass for the coming uh, attacker, and was snatched away by um, a Nasut player. Call from the referee. Uh, there was a attack to the head, and attacks to the head are. Uh, um, uh, full play, uh, dangerous play, so there's a free throw against Nasut. Three minutes to go and 5-0 for Finland. So 5-0 if uh, um, Firenze can keep up, 5-0 would be quite a, a good score. Um, I think the free throw was uh, not well executed. Uh, one of the Firenze girls tried to steal away the basket from Nasut, didn't succeed and uh, left again. Free throw executed. Do you know why the 
female girls have those uh, tapes these foot in straps, the, yeah. yeah. So they are uh, recognizable by uh, their teammates. It's like it, you put it I on know. your arm wrist. Yeah. I, I, no, you don't. No, 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 no. No, but it's it's visibility for your teammates. No, 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 no. Look, the goalkeepers have it on the knee. The defenders have it on the ankles, and the, the attackers don't have it at all. So the idea is that, you know, because when Finland first started and they had players from different clubs and they didn't recognize each other on the water, so they decided that uh, by marking who? their legs, they know when you are. And it's great because I played with the Finnish girls once in the Firenze Cup. So you didn't have to try to identify. You just look at the knee and you knew where your okay. partner was. And the same as a defender. So this is okay. when you don't play. Oh, that was almost a counter. When you don't, when you play, and you mm. don't know all the teammates, that's great. Yeah, it's true. That's a that's a good idea. You see, you learn something. I learn every day with you. That's no question. Um, how much? There's a question. How much uh, orcas against uh, whales? Catalina 9-0 for the Orcas against Australia. Now Firenze is trying to attack on the Nasut half of the field, but um, yeah, Nasut is doing a good war, keeping them away and you know, make them fight for every little centimeter in the pool. We have, you know, almost three, four players of Nasut constantly in the water. I mean, it's, it, I almost see all the time blue swimming suits. Yeah, yeah. And for the uh, Firenze girl... 30 seconds left, uh, so it's still a 6-0. We have a cluster at the, the surface corner. in the corner. And the referees called it. No, the referee on the surface called it. Um, 30 seconds left, 12 seconds left. And... Uh, yeah, 3, 2, 1, 0. Well, 6, 0 for Nasut. Well, they... Uh, well, it, it's, it's, it's hard if you don't score as a team. Um, for Firenze, it's, it's, it was exhausting and not very... Um, how you say it's uh, rewarding. Yeah. So uh, you, you go out of a game and you feel super exhausted and you could just got... Well, but yeah, they had two punched. hard uh, day, uh, um, games today. I mean, earlier today when they uh, had uh, the German team, they lost 7-0 and now 6-0. So by that, we can more or less think that... Uh, and also because of uh, the results between... Um, uh, Barcelona, yeah, more or less on the team, on the sorry, on the group, Langen and Nasut are the ones that quite um, similar, strong. Then we have Firenze and the U USA, probably they are um, similar in uh, how um, the experience. So next uh, game coming up is. I would say Langen is going to be first of the group and Nasut maybe second, but we'll see that tomorrow after Langen and Nasut play at 10 o'clock. Tomorrow we start at 8, by the way, we can inform the people already. It's two more games. Right now is Newark from the US um, against Malmö, Triton from Sweden. And then it's one more game from the girls, Akaren against Vienna. So we will meet back, uh, back again uh, at 8 o'clock um, for the first game tomorrow. After this uh, second game, right there we see uh, the referees in red, um, which is Manuel Tito de More. He's the chief, uh, chief referee of CMIS. And um, like I said, we have... Uh, 13 referees here um, at the pool.